Hello sweet friends, welcome back and welcome to another DIY video. I thank you for watching this. I'm going to be creating a DIY Dollar Tree Easter garland. It's totally over the top and I'm hoping to bring some cheerful vibes to my neighborhood and my family and also you. So let's jump into this video. Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you are new. In today's video, I can't wait to share with you DIY Dollar Tree Decor Crafts. So this is another episode in my huge Let's Stay Home series. I'd love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. So without further ado, go ahead and plug in your glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. So to get started on the first Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this thrift store garland. This is a Christmas tree garland. I'm going to attach it to the top of my door. I have nails on either side of my door way, but I actually suggest using command strips. However, right now I'm using everything I have on hand. Don't go out to the store and buy anything. Just use what you have. So I attached the garland and then I'm taking the evergreen branches and I'm twisting them on top of each other to attach this burlap ribbon. You can find burlap at Walmart or you can also order online at burlapfabric.com or even on Amazon. I'll try to link some in my store under some of my crafting supplies. But again, just take um, whatever ribbon you're starting out with, use what you have and just take your evergreen branches and just bend them crossways on top of each other and then just create kind of a little poof as you go along. Now in my stash, I had some of this Dollar Tree Easter decoration mesh. So I'm going to use three rolls of Easter Deco mesh starting with the pink. Again, I'm just overlaying um, the Deco mesh on top of the burlap and just taking and crisscrossing the branches over on each other. You can see that all of my poofs aren't the same. So really give yourself some grace. This craft doesn't have to be perfect. My goal was to bring some sunshine and some happiness to my neighbors and my family with a beautiful over the top Easter garland and my son even said you know mom Easter's almost here and I thought to myself I know that but I want it to feel like just a wonderful holiday we are all at home right now as well as I'm sure you all are and so just bringing some holiday cheer is hopefully going to cheer up my little neighborhood kiddos and my family and it just brought my heart so much joy and it was a beautiful day to do this project now you can see over here my um, deco mesh didn't fit on the entire um, garland here so I'm starting on the opposite side with the next color and I decided to go ahead and use purple for that color so it would kind of be somewhat fluid throughout um, the pink and the purple aren't exactly matching but hey so then I'm just going to go the opposite direction now twist tying um, the deco mesh over on top of itself and just pulling a little bit of a poof out as I go along I remember to give yourself grace this does not have to be perfect just have fun with it creating some really special um, decor for your friends and family stop. can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time morning evening and midnight such a wonderful delight Now here's just a little close up of how I'm attaching the deco mesh. I thought that might help for some of you that are hoping to try to attempt this project. You can see I'm just taking the little mesh and I'm pulling it out in poofs and then I'm twist tying it over on itself. And you can also do this technique with ribbon or burlap or whatever you have on hand. I've even been known to take and cut fabric strips. So if you guys have an old Christmas tree garland, you can cut Cut strips of fabric if you don't have the deco mesh or the burlap and you can use fabric strips and they can be really beautiful especially if you love that shabby chic style but I'm just going back over my garland with my last roll of deco mesh which was the blue Dollar Tree deco mesh and again I'm just twist tying it and creating some fun yeah, little poofs unexpected love was found 
So for the last layer, I did go ahead and decide to add one more layer of burlap. So I have um, totally, I have five layers. I have a layer of burlap, which is what I started with, and then three layers of the Dollar Tree Deco mesh, and then one more layer of that burlap. That just gives it a lot of fullness. But again, this is what I had on hand. So I really encourage you all to use whatever you have in your craft stash. And if you don't have the ribbons, you can always cut up strips of fabric and kind of use them in a similar fashion. Now here is a Dollar Tree bow that I had created. Created. Um, this was in several videos back. It's using Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm just going to attach the bow with this pipe cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it on there. I'm going to leave a link to my bow tutorial down below. It was actually from Christmas, um, but we've done several of these spring bows. And also if you guys need help with this spring bow that I created, I'm going to go ahead and pop it into towards the end of this video video for you all. So I'm adding my bow and then I'm giving it a nice good fluffing. That's my favorite part of attaching any bow is making sure you give it a good fluffing. Now that I've attached my bow, I'm beginning to add in some of the little Dollar Tree mini signs. And then I did go ahead and add a big fluffy bow to the center part. So to attach the signs, I just took some of the longer Dollar Tree signs and I broke them apart and then put pipe cleaners on the back of them. And then I pipe cleaner those onto the wreath. So you just want to hot glue your pipe cleaner to the back and attach those that way. And again, giving your bow a nice good fluffing really helps out. Now you can see I'm attaching another one of the little Dollar Tree mini signs. Again, this was a three part sign that was actually a hanging sign. I cut it apart and then I just added it in here. And then I'm also attaching some of the Dollar Tree speckled eggs using some hot glue. Um, and they do need to go ahead and when you put it on there, you need to kind of hold on to it for just a sec or they'll pop out. The other thing that I love doing is just adding in some loopy ribbons here and there. So you just take your ribbon, make a couple little loops, dovetail the ends, and then attach that into your evergreen. And I'm not even using pipe cleaners on this part. I'm just attaching it by crisscrossing um, the little evergreen on top of each other. Now I added two more bows to either side of my garland to give it lots of fullness and a sparkle and shine. You guys know I love big bows and I cannot lie. So I'm just attaching some more little Dollar Tree speckled eggs onto the different sections of my um, garland here. And then I also used some of the Dollar Tree mini carrots. I really had quite a bit of Easter goodies in my stash. And so I just went all out and used all of them. And then there's my son. It was a really beautiful day. So Max and Josh, they were outside working on the car together. And it was just so funny to hear them, um, their conversations back and forth. They like to really give each other a hard time. So they were really cracking me up. 
And even though we've all had to stay at home, um, it's just really been fun to see what they're up to. Max wanted me to pray, play a prank on Josh. Um, so I was just cracking up. So anyway, I'm going ahead and I'm attaching some more eggs and carrots and comment. Let me know what you guys think about this over the top garland. I feel like we should be having a baby shower <laughs> or something, but I love the Easter colors. You guys know I love pastels. So that little green sign kind of up to the left, you guys may notice I changed that out for the little bunny. It just wasn't working. So if you guys can see, I switched that around and then here is how it all came out oh my goodness i was so excited so this is everything from dolly tree the little happy easter truck sign we did this wreath a couple of videos back but i ended up adding in some more um, pastel ribbon and then here is just kind of a close-up of what all of the ribbon loops look like and the pretty little signs and it's definitely not perfect and to be honest with you i probably would have gone out and bought more supplies to give it a different look here and there um, but you know what? I'm encouraging you guys to use what you have. I'm not going out anywhere to buy any new supplies. I'm staying home. So I just encourage you guys to do that as well. I also popped that little happy Easter Easter bunny into the wreath as well. And then for the next DIY, I wanted to share with you guys how I kind of dressed up my broom. I just took some leftover ribbon. I looped it over on itself and then I'm tying the ribbon on with a pipe cleaner. I did this actually pretty much for every season with fall and Christmas and now for Easter. So if you guys have a front porch broom, doll that baby up, bring a smile to everybody's face. And then I even added this little cute little happy Easter um, chicks um, sign. I think it's really corny, but I think it's really special and happy. And then this little bunny, please stop here. This was also from Dollar Tree as well as the oversized eggs. And I just popped in some eggs and some florals and it created just a really nice little welcoming front space for my front door. So I am so excited with how this all turned out. I definitely feel like it's bringing a smile to my face and hopefully to all the neighborhood kiddos who have been out um, riding their bikes and all of that good stuff. Um, and also Easter is right around the corner. And I feel like even though we're at home, we can still celebrate by putting something fun outside of our home to just cheer up our neighbors. Here's a little floral that I had created with you guys a couple of videos back as well. And I just popped in some more springy flowers. There's some more of those little Dollar Tree signs. Again, none of this is perfect, but I really just think it's so much fun um, to see all the beautiful pastels. And when I go outside and I look at my front yard, I just am reminded of God's grace and the beauty that is out there. And then the hope that we have in looking forward to the future. So comment and let me know what you all think about this wild garland that I made, if it's bringing a smile to your face. And um, if you guys have decorated for Easter, or um, if you think that this is too late to be decorating for Easter, I feel like I'll probably keep it up a little bit longer than I normally would have because why not? I've even seen online, some people are putting up Christmas lights outside to just bring a smile to their neighbor's face. So here is my front yard bike. I also have these beautiful little jonquils blooming. You can see my iris stalks are coming up. And then here is my little front yard bike. I leave this out year round and I decorate it seasonally. I just use some Dollar Tree flowers, some tulips from Michaels. I already had all this on hand and then created a fun little large Olivia bow and then I added this cute little Dollar Tree bunny sign to the front of the basket again so hoping that my neighbors see it and then you know my kiddos are outside they see it my daughter had asked if the Easter bunny was still going to come and even though she's older at first I was like no I don't really think that the Easter bunny is going to come this year and then I decided that the Easter bunny is going to come somehow <laughs> we're going to have fun and just celebrate the joy of 
really the true meaning of Easter. Um, so I just pray that you all are doing well. I pray guardian angels over all of your hearts, and I pray that you are looking forward to the future with joy, and um, just if you guys have prayer requests, definitely drop them down below, and I just love you all so much, and I'm so thankful that you're here. And I've come out here to say Here is my prayer for the day. Dear Jesus, you are the strength of my life. You are my rock, my fortress, and my protector. Therefore, whom shall I be afraid? You are my shield, my strong tower, and my stronghold. I will call to you because you are worthy to be praised. So, Father, I thank you for being my strength and my God in whom I trust. Amen. That's Psalm 27, 1 to reference. And... I just pray that you all are doing well. Here's my son and my hubs. And also I'm gonna share with you guys that quick bow recipe that I promised as well here. I'm gonna create a beautiful Olivia bow using ribbon that I found at the Dollar Tree. So if you guys are new to my channel, I have this little cool bow that I created. It's called the Olivia bow because honestly I couldn't make a bow to save my life. So I'm starting out and I'm using this blue Dollar Tree wired ribbon and I'm just going to take the ribbon and loop it over on itself. You can see I have a tape measure because I lost my little cutting measuring board and so I'm just making this first one 14 inches long and I looped it over on itself four times and then I am just going to take my scissors and not this bow in the center just tiny little itty bitty notches and the notches are for the wire or pipe cleaner that I'm going to use to hold the bow all together and be able to fluffy my little loops out really well so I'm just using a pipe cleaner here and I'm going to twist tie the bow together and then I'm just gonna set it aside to begin to make the other part of my bow so I'm gonna take off two inches so now I'm going down to 10 inches here and I'm going to use this pretty little happy Easter ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Again, this one is wired and I'm going to loop it over on itself four times. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trim that off. Again, I want to find my center by taking the bow and or the ribbon and just kind of cutting it in half here or um, just notching it is what I meant to say. Don't cut it. Goodness gracious. <laughs> so then I'm going to take and layer this on top of the first ribbon and just tie my little twist tie together now try to get it as tight as you can that will help your bow stay together again I took off two more inches and now this is about eight inches so again I'm gonna loop it over on itself four times find my center cut little bitty tiny notches and honestly you don't even have to cut the notches but if you pull too hard while you're fluffing like I have known to do um, it could pull apart so then go ahead and add that on to the last layer so basically you just got these layers of a ribbon and then this is my absolute favorite part in the whole world is fluffing out my bow so I'm starting from the top and I'm just pulling my little layers out but honestly I recommend that you start from the bottom um, sometimes I get so excited crafting I lose my head does that ever happen to you guys when you get just so excited to do some fun crafting that your head just falls off or that you're just just brain falls out I guess that's what I meant to say so now I'm just gonna cut a little upward triangle here and so that is going to be called what I call dovetailing my ends and I'm going to do this to give my bow a little bit more of a boutique finish and you can tell I have different layers of a ribbon here for my tails that suits my fancy sometimes I will cut some extra tails if I want some extra longer tails Thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure it is such a true blessing and honor to have you all here i just want to encourage you to keep up the good work crafting and decorating and tidying up your home remember to check on your friends and family give them a call a text send a letter um and i just also want to let you all know that i love you and i'm praying for you i'm hugging your hearts so tight also drop a prayer request down below if you need someone to pray for you i know this community is so kind and uplifting to everyone and just really wants to come together to just work on looking forward to the future with so much hope. 
So thank you guys again. I also would love to have you all connect with other friends. I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page. I think connecting online is such a great way to stay in contact with others and be inspired. So on my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page, it's totally free to join. All you have to do is request to join and I'll approve your request and you can post photos of your home decor and your crafty decor projects over there. So thank you guys again. Also, I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page. Follow me over there. I share behind the scenes of what I have going on in my little crazy crafty mama life. And also I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Pinterest if you guys want to follow me on Pinterest. So anyway, just so many fun ways to connect on social media. It just helps you guys feel like you have a community, um, especially while we're staying at home. So I want to hug all of your hearts so tight and encourage you to keep looking forward to the future with so much joy. Remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.